Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this iron fence post. Really simple. I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to get these bevels nice and clean and easy using the technique with your materials tab. Alright, let's dive in. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is bring in a reference image. Click on the little background icon, bring in a reference image, and if you don't have any experience with this and never done it before just click on the reference image the little jpeg image whatever it is for default and you can import from there okay now normally with this type of thing i would usually use the overlay to do something but i'm going to show you a different technique because we're going to be stacking different parts on top of each other and if you use the overlay then everything goes the same opacity and it's hard to see the difference even if you paint it different colors so instead, we'll go into the materials menu, but let's get rid of this first and add a box because that's what I'm going to cut this out of. Then we can go and validate it. Go in here and choose the blending. Now in the materials tab, the blending, nothing happens yet. And then as soon as you change this, now you can adjust exactly how much it is, but you can do it different for each individual object or colors, whatever you want to do. It's pretty nice to use it like this. Now I'm going to turn the grid on. All right. Now go into the trim. Now, if you already have a trim already set up, if I was in here working before and you need to get rid of that, click on any of the other options. So I'll just click on line normally, re-click on polygon. And now I've got a nice cutter. Now with having the grid in the background, we can see exactly where we want to cut everything. And I'm going to put a couple straight lines. So if you double click on them, they get a nice hard line. Corner, I mean. And there we go. You just, you can click back and forth between the two. All right. And basically, I just want to make this portion right here where the, the, uh, let's see. Let's give it a little bit of motion right there at the top. Okay, so we're just cutting out this portion right here. I like that. So we'll cut it. I still want a little bit more up here. It's a little, a little too flat for me. Let's go like right there. I like that. Okay. All right. Now we are going to go into side view we can turn off the grid now it's kind of in the way and let's go ahead and turn our opacity back up and if we click on wire you can see we got kind of some messiness right there at the edge so let's go back in here to voxel and bring it up to a couple hundred keep that to sharp because i want that top nice and crisp okay now what we're going to do Click on your view cube, select mask, turn off wire for now. And I'm going to mask part of this. So we'll mask just back here. Grab your gizmo and shrink this down. Masking is super useful for this kind of stuff. As you can see now that we have a beautiful, nice bevel in there, which is going to be nice. Okay. Now, if you turn on wire, you can see we got some stretching going on that's not too bad we can probably leave that just for just a second and then we'll remesh so we'll grab the gizmo or not the gizmo we're going to grab the mask again and we're going to mask a little further now since we've stretched things and we've, we've got some other things going on there at that bevel at this edge if we were to stretch this now oops not that one you can see that it's not since we try to mask that because it's been stretched, it's not doing anything. So we need to remesh. Now if we do, whoops. Now if we go back to select mask and click right up to this edge, I'm going to show you what happens. You can see the masking is a little funky right there at the edge, even though we've remeshed. And if we go back up to our gizmo and stretch, we're going to get some nasty lines because of it. So you know, easy fix for that. Don't get don't get all crazy with it. Just go back with the mask and just go a little further. It really doesn't matter where. 
even if there's a little jagged line in there that won't matter you stretch it and now we have a nice part to cut through a block to cut out our shape and that's perfect click on mask drag it again and we're nice and clean all right we're going to click on the home and we can change the opacity again if we want go back to blending and squeeze this down because I want a little bit different shape out of it so that looks good put the grid on just to make sure we're still centered and we're perfect let's go in and add a box all right so now that we've got the box in I want to change this to a different color so I can see it so we'll just paint that it doesn't really matter what you can see it's kind of a weird color it doesn't really matter we can change we can go back to a Capacity on that now you can see I have the outline in there and that makes it so much easier to see where you're at and if you don't know how to put an outline on something go up to the gear icon and scroll down and you'll see where it says outline right here and you can change the color change the thickness it's pretty nice that way you can see if you're cutting something internal if you don't want to change opacities that's an easy way to fix that okay so let's go back to home again now this one we're gonna validate we're gonna bring the resolution up to around 200 and we're gonna change that to a blend now the cool thing about this technique is you can change a different opacity for each one which is pretty nice all right so we'll leave that right here this we can bring up because this is going to be actually Oops, I don't want to move that off center. Let's expand it a little bit because we want that basically, it's going to be the internal cut. You can see it's plenty long to cut out the outside. Go back home again. All right, so this is the one we need to cut. We're going to go ahead and cut off the outside edge. You can trim either way, it doesn't really matter. And what I mean by that is you could. You could go ahead and cut the internal one out or you could cut this external one whichever one you want to do first doesn't matter all right so i'm basically just looking at this and trying to get roughly the same amount of material around the outside edge and if it's a little off i'm not super worried about it and that looks pretty good Okay, we'll go right there. I'm good with it. Make sure you got symmetry on, hit the green button, and it's cut. All right, now you see we have a nice cut there. So now we just need to cut the internal out. Click on the side, and now it's easier to see because you've got the transparency on. Like I said, if you were using the overlay in here, this would, this would affect everything in the scene the same. Using these different blending options, you can change opacities for different different objects selected where instead of everything. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna select this guy, click on the right, and I'm gonna bring this in. Now, this cool thing with this is you could do a double bevel if you wanted, have a flat, bevel, flat. I just want a bevel into a flat into the cut. So just like that is perfect select this guy it's already selected and we'll turn that transparency off you know with the visibility with the eye select the other one go to boolean and i'm going to use the boolean cut boolean boolean however i'm not sure how you say that but i'm going to click on that and it's going to be easier to see if we're opaque and you can see that we have a really nice cut in there now and we're going to leave that just as is that's perfect all right now we'll go to the top view and we're going to move this right to the red line ish somewhere in there and go ahead and give this a radial now the radial if you guys i'll link i'll link videos on here but if you've not messed with the radials this this is already set up um, 
as a default to Wise. Okay, so it looks good. Now, the first thing we want to do is go in here and just pick one. And we're going to trim that off because you can see we have, you know, the ends are stuck together. So we'll trim. Now, this is going to go default, which is nice because if you make a mistake, your polygon is already in there. But if you need to clear it, it's super easy. Instead of dragging all, you can drag all these dots together and that takes forever. Instead, just click on a different trim of some kind, come back into Polygon, and it'll reset it for you. Now, since we have the nice outline on there, it's easier just to cut this. And since we have the blue outline from our paint that transferred from the Boolean cut, we can just slide this up and we kind of know exactly where we want to cut. And I'm not going to worry about being exactly perfect on here. It's not going to matter. All I'm concerned about is cutting this, this area out in the corner. Okay. And then as long as you have symmetry on, they'll all cut. And now we have a nice, easy cut. Now, what I mean by not being perfectly on the line, you'll have this little bit of trim area on the inside, but that won't matter. You'll, you'll never see it. All right, next thing we're going to do is put our box in here. This will leave the radial um, because if you if we put it together and then it's still going to be hard to cut all the way around the same way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That, that can be a little glitchy. So we're going to add a box back in. All right, and we can go validate this because we can just, whoops. We can just shrink this. Oh, and it is. Um, let's move this out of here. It's going to make life a little bit easier to deal with. Turn the grid off for just a second. Bring this down. And that looks about right. I want this oops I want this thickness about the same thickness as the gray in this area right here so I'm gonna bring this down now let's paint this a little bit different color it'll be easier to see what we've got going on and that's right on the bottom close enough anyway shrink this in and if we shrink it in inside of the other bevel, then we don't have to worry about it. So all be cut the same. It definitely would have been easier to do the nodes instead of this, but that's okay. If it's a little off, it's okay. We can smooth it. Okay, so that's about it right there. Got that nice and clean. Now on this one, we're going to cut this one at that angle right there. So we're going to trim. Polygon, put the grid on. So you can see it a little bit better. What we need to do is turn the transparency on this one and this one will do the same thing. And you can see it is very slight, but right here, right in this area, you'll see the difference between the dark blue and the light blue right here. It's a little bit hard to see probably on your screen, but it's there. So we're going to trim the right across right here now the cool thing about doing the polygon trim is that the
lines that you create right here are all going to be the same. So every time you turn on the polygon, that looks pretty good right there. I like it. So it's hard to see. So let's fix that. So you can see I have a really nice cut right there on the bevel. And it looks good. All right. So then the next one, we're going to go to here and we're going to do the gizmo because I want this to be up above that. So we need to increase the size a bit. I want a little bit of reveal up there on the flat. So it looks pretty good right there. And Got a weird I must have I did rotate that all right we're gonna get rid of that block because you can see right here the orange outline I, I must have twisted that with a gizmo so my mistake we'll delete that we're gonna add another box fix that we'll use the nose this time it'll be a little bit easier oops add the box get it out here so we can deal with it first Gizmo we'll use just to get it basically in place, but I've rotated that off. That's why it was not lining up correctly. All right, click on this. We'll get the edit nodes. Right about right there. Right there. And I want just a little above that bevel. So maybe about right there. And if we turn a transparency on this one again, somewhere in there, I want that to be, this area right there to be like a square, basically. Looks about right, right there. Okay, now let's paint this one a different color. So you can see it again. Now this is what I mean by having different transparencies. If we had this in the landscape and we use overlay, these all be the same. You wouldn't be able to see anything. With this, we can see. All right, so we can go ahead and, oops, I do need to fix that because that's not where we want it. About right there. Like I said, you can see with these different colors and different transparencies, it's way easier to line things up. Okay. Go ahead and validate it. We're going to trim it. And now we have our angle that's exactly the same as the one we just used. Cut. That one's going to match. Now we need to cut the other side to match. Okay, so we'll cut it off first and then we'll trim it because I did mess that up still. So that's okay. Come back and trim it. And then we'll just use the rectangle trim and trim off the edge. Right there. There we go. Alright, so if we turn all our opacity back up, you can see we have a nice trimmed piece. And that's on a mirror right now. So we're going to go and see what we have going on here. Oh, I do have mirror, so we'll turn this off. We'll get rid of the mirror. And we'll add a radial. I did not mean to click mirror. Okay, so now we have a perfect piece right there. We can go in and go ahead and put these all together. So the radial, I'll validate. Join children, yes. And then this one, validate. Join children, yes. And these two will boolean. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up a little bit just in case so we don't get weird edges and merge. It's going to take a second, turn the wire, whoops, turn the grid off. That looks pretty good. Just paint it all one color. Oops, this one all the way up. Helps if you actually hit paint all. Okay, that looks pretty clean. 
and you could go through and smooth this I'm not going to worry too much about it now a quick trick on this with the smooth you come up here come up to the brush icon and then filter keep edges sharp put it at about 70 80 percent so when you go to smooth it's, it won't smooth the edges as much and you can see there's a little smoothing there bring it up a little more just to your tolerance level it'll kind of knock those little spots down and if we do that with a symmetry then it will all do it the same and it should take care of most of these maybe a little off symmetry there it is depends on which ones are clicked okay so that's pretty good right there and that's the hardest part of this whole project is that piece right there the rest of it's a lathe and the boxes so i'll time lapse here and there and we're just going to continue on all right so we got this next part we want to do i'm going to go in here and move this down so i can see it a little bit so i'll just bring the y down a little kind of see and bring the scale down I kind of see what i got here okay so the next thing we're going to do is grab a lathe just down here somewhere lathe tool and path and down and click oh I was off center so let's put the grid on there we go it does help that this over here Hopefully. Okay, let's try that again. Path. All right, so here's a quick tip. The lathe is off center and it's because your your alignment and your snap is off, your alignment is off for the pivot. So if you hit a line hit pivot you don't always have to have a line on but if you hit center and then sometimes you have to hit a line here to get it in the right spot we'll click on that and now if we go into the gizmo and move to origin now we're in the center because it's hard to get a good spear sometimes with the lathe so i will get that spear turned back on and whoops put in place where i want all right, so that's the topper made, and that's pretty close to what I want right there. I mean, you could totally tweak this a little more, but I'm pretty good with that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just put some posts on, and that's about it.